The new Star Wars film, Rogue One, opens December 16th, and some people have called for a boycott, saying the film is anti-Trump. It is true that Rogue One scriptwriters Chris Weitz and Gary Whitta were part of the anti-Trump safety pin movement. Here's a tweet by Weitz. And they themselves suggested that Star Wars was anti-Trump. Please note that the Empire is a white supremacist human organization, Weitz tweeted, then later deleted. Whitta then <laughs> wittily tweeted. Opposed by a multicultural group led by brave women. Hmm. No surprise there. A couple of Hollywood screenwriters are anti-Trump. Big deal. Disney head Bob Iger responded to the controversy saying, I think the whole story has been overblown and quite frankly, it's silly. And then added, it is not a film that is in any way a political film. There are no political statements in it at all. But is that really true? I've seen every Star Wars movie and I think that there is a clear bias against the dark side. <laughs> Throughout the, <laughs> through the subtle use of music, costumes, and makeup, it's pretty clear who the bad guys are supposed to be. Of course, both sides are represented in the films, and there are many instances where the Empire is shown to be compassionate. Compensation? He didn't have to offer that. That was from the heart. <laughs> and not everything that you read on the Internet is true, but there are alternate theories about everything. Maybe the dark side's not so dark. Tim? Yes. Star Wars? Uh, you, you saw these guys. Obviously, these screenwriters were, they were big Hillary supporters. They were out there trumpeting. I think we should acknowledge that Walt Disney would have loved Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> From what I know about Walt. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You, you have some conspiracy theories of your own, huh? No, he was like a Nazi sympathizer. He wanted to make kids happy. That's all I know. He wanted all to make, all oh. Walt Disney wanted to do was drain the swamp. <laughs> so, 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 right. That's what that Rapunzel <laughs> yeah. thing was, the wall. I mean, so, what are there, no political, uh, well, they're just trying to get people to see the movie. Oh, so you, know? you think it's publicity? Yeah, I mean, this, a lot of this stuff, I think, is just kind of going out there and going, you know, oh, nothing to see here, there's no big political things in here. And yeah. Then people are going to talk about it, people are going to fight about it. Well, look, I don't know if, the, I'm sure that the films, it's the Star Wars universe, right, Tammy? So yeah. I, I don't think there's any anti-Trump messages in the movie. I think that was a little bit overstated. Well, the Chewbacca thing, I think, is symbolism, oh, definitely, dear. with the hair. Um, <laughs> but I do think that, like, listen, James Cameron said that Aliens, the, the sequel to Alien, mm -hmm. that when he did that, that was, it had a complete anti-Vietnam message in it but disney i mean everybody knows that the artists put a lot of like weird penis pictures and sex acts and all the what? in the cartoons Where there's always guys, that one yeah you get all frame. this information well you in the new star wars movie they, they eat at a pizzeria run by pedophiles yeah <laughs> so that's <laughs> weird but i don't think i think, I think it's I know coincidence that. personally i don't know <laughs> talk about the dark side i know where these guys are seeing all the hidden messages in their cartoons well why do you think I they rubbed the lamp in aladdin <laughs> holy cow Oh, I want to see Penis Disney. When can we get more of that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff. It, it's, that sounds like conspiracy theories to me. But Matt, the... There um, goes my job at The View. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think of this? Those guys, I mean, they, they're obviously, they were tying, they I mean, were the tying second, Trump to the... The second trilogy was all about anti-Bush, right? It was, uh, you know, that's how democracy dies. And I'm sorry, because Andy's going to fact check me and make me look stupid. No, no, I think but that George like Lucas said that he was putting anti-Bush messages yeah. into his prequels or whatever. And, right? and mm. the superhero movies oftentimes have a very strong political subtext, and that's totally fine. It's a, it's a lot better to have that and allow us to kind of grapple with it than it is to see that stupid safety pin on a, on a tweet. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Dave... Um, you kind of look like Kylo Ren. Did, did anyone ever tell you that? That's true. No. Every now and then I get Ross from oh, little oh, friends. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's you and your, your lost brother. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't see it. <laughs> but Dave, what do you think of this uh, this controversy? Well, I'll tell you. I'm not a big uh, fan. I can't make a point of that on the screen. <laughs> next to me, okay? I, can't, I can't be expected to just talk. <laughs> Uh, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, which, by the way, you think coming out as a right winger or a transgender person is dangerous. Try coming out as not a big Star Wars fan, and people like just punch you in the face in the street, and oh, no yeah. one feels bad for you. Uh, I thought it's crazy that Trump thinks this is about him, but I guess that makes a lot of sense for Trump. But I did find it a little surprising that they would say it's not political at all. 
Because my understanding of Star Wars was that it was always kind of anti-authoritarian and had some political undertones. It's so very that's, political. Yeah, that's, that it's an empire. There are rebels. Yeah, it's right. politics. Right. But I, the, Trump, I don't think was. I don't think Trump has weighed in on this. I'm actually surprised he hasn't. Donald Trump probably thinks the original Star Wars was about him. <laughs> <laughs> it may have been.